Our war on British tyranny begins tonight. In Boston, brave men fight for the right to govern themselves. Tonight, we fight for freedom. As I bear witness to the sacrifice of this generation, I take great comfort in the memory of our forefathers, those pioneering men who traveled to these shores seeking a new life. Like the intrepid Captain John Smith and his fellow settlers, we too seek a new world, not only for ourselves, but for future generations of Americans. As I look back on their endeavors, at the unknown dangers that awaited the pioneers over every rise and behind every tree, I am reminded that I play but a small part in a much greater story. Ready yourselves, fire! fire. Stay behind cover, men! They're charging again! Steady! Hold the line! The trees, man. Infantry reporting, yes, sir. Infantry on the right. Ah. Break off. Open fire. From the very beginning, there have been hardships, irreplaceable losses, brothers, fathers, sons lost to war, famine, and disease. And yet our forefathers endured, refusing to give up on the one thing they all believed in so fervently, freedom. Those brave men built a future from an inhospitable land, taming it and making it their own. But the wild land was not the only threat. The natives were a constant menace, lurking at their borders, always ready for battle. It became obvious that until borders were clearly established, peace would continue to be elusive. You must lead the early settlers to establish Jamestown as a safe and prosperous settlement in this dangerous new world. From time to time, the British government will issue various missions to perform. As you complete these missions, 
the wealth and security of Jamestown will improve, and your influence throughout the whole of the New World will expand. Having survived the immediate threat posed by the native tribes, your settlers have already gained valuable combat experience. This is your this is Jamestown, the capital of the region of Virginia. The review panel at the bottom of the screen contains a recruitment tab and a construction tab. Use the recruitment tab to recruit units for your armies. There is often a choice of building types to construct in a resource slot. A message box will inform you when this building has been constructed. The number in the hourglass indicates how many turns remain before completion. At the ready! You have entered a unit into the recruitment queue. A message box will inform you when this unit is ready to use. The number in the hourglass indicates how many turns remain before completion. Waiting for orders. New units have been recruited. Left click to select Jamestown. Left click on the army tab, left click on a unit. You can now move your units out of the garrison by right clicking on the campaign map. Yes, my lord. Sir! Make ready! Ready what? for orders! More orders? Forwards! March! Yeah. This tab shows all units available for recruitment in the selected town, city, port, army or fleet. Right click on a unit's picture to see its description. Left click on a unit to add it to the queue and again to remove it. Recruitment cost is...
Oh, you have successfully built a peasant farm and local fishery in the Jamestown region. Jamestown should now grow and prosper, so it's time to deal with the threat from local native tribes. Your next compulsory mission is to capture the village of Werewakamako deep into unknown territory to the northeast. Mm. <laughs> Yes, sir. Make ready for battle. They are trapped. Siege works underway. Forwards for gold and country. You must lead the early settlers to it. It's time to deal with the threat from. Settlement besieged. The swine rot in the sty. By the leg of They hide behind women. Winning a battle isn't just about greater numbers. The balance of units and the commander's ability are essential. Look at the strength ratio, weather and reinforcement information. During the deployment phase, you can secretly arrange your units inside the deployment zone before battle commences. The enemy general will deploy his men within the opposite area. When you're ready to fight, click on the cross swords icon in the center of the screen. Oh, 
Uh, pressing the space bar on your keyboard after orders have been issued displays the positions your units will move to as a shadow on the battlefield. Uh, use this as a reference when deploying your forces. Maintaining a unit's courage and regimental discipline in the heat of battle is dependent on their morale. A measure of the RUN button in the bottom right of the screen can be used to toggle the selected units between running or walking. Running is useful for going somewhere in a hurry, but doing it too much will tire the men out. Enemy cavalry on a flashing unit banner means the morale of their troops is wavering. Before long, they'll break from combat and rout from the field. Take this opportunity to charge their ranks with cavalry or infantry with bayonets fixed. The battle is over when all troops in an army are routed or killed. Battle statistics are displayed here, along with a breakdown of the condition of each surviving unit in your army or navy. Following capture of a capital city, it is a... Oh, you have successfully captured the village of Werewakamoko and are well on the way to reducing the threat to Jamestown. The condition of victory for completing this episode is to capture the village of Shakamat. I, 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 
Your region capital is the central city for control of a region. Empire Total War differs from previous Total War titles by having buildings spread throughout a region in towns and ports rather than being concentrated solely at its capital. Troops can be stationed inside a city to provide defense in the event of an attack. Whilst there, they also act as a deterrent for any rebellious tendencies among the population. A very large army or navy spread over two or more unit stacks may not be able to fight as a single force. A nation can field a maximum of 20 units on the battlefield at one time. In this instance, additional units arrive for battle piecemeal, joining the fray to reinforce units that have been routed or destroyed. Undaunted, undefeated. The construction of a farm will increase the colonial plantations provide tradable goods for shipping back to your home. Ports do not just facilitate overseas trade. Upgrading to a dockyard also allows naval vessels to be built. Note that ships can also be ordered directly from fleets if commanded by an admiral. Waiting for orders. Any further orders? More orders, Your Majesty. Attack! Make ready for battle. There has been an eruption of national pride in your home region following your victories on the field of battle. Every time a battle is won or a territory conquered, the populace become more fervent in their support of the war. This is indicated by increased happiness. This tab shows all existing buildings in the selected town or city. Mouse over them to see what can yet be constructed. Right click on a picture to see when attacking a fort or city, a general can demand that the defenders surrender with the honors of war. If accepted, they will be allowed to leave unmolested turning the fortifications over without a shot being fired. Forwards for crowd and country! Men! Forward! Hold! The swine rot in the sty. Enemy sail approaching. Oh, 
ground. As population growth is slow here, it is recommended that you upgrade farms or bring lower class taxes down. Increasing the food supply and net income of the layman will reduce the infant mortality rate, thereby increasing. Nine one one. What's your emergency? I I I help. I got into the work. We need help. Some cables are hanging down on the field. Um, do we know how long it will be? But I want to help. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Help. I shot my leg off. Do you have something to tie around your leg? No, just just some tools. Oh God. All right. Take off your shirt then. What? Take off your shirt and firmly tie it around your leg. Roger that.